Hey guys, Colbert here with another Racial Legends video. So guys, as you guys know, Paragon is like the MVP for my kind of teams in Spider 20. So in this one, Paragon level 30, as you guys know, barely any masteries, uh, barely any gear. So we have one army gear, two army gears, three army gears. Wait, 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 wait. Paragon, army gear, army gear. Where's the fourth one? Yeah, four army gears. So Four army gears, one paragon. Guys, if you like this, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. So let's go. Let's go in the spider. I'm gonna explain to you guys how this works uh, throughout the video because it's gonna take a lot of time and it took me a lot of time to go through this. But army gears are like the MVPs in in this. <laughs> like the four army gear setup is crazy. So <laughs> first, first of first of all. Armiger, you need to reduce the termiter now. The spire is at like 50% uh, termiter. There we go. The fastest one actually has uh, like the improved mastery evil eye. So it's fine. The termiter of the spire is at like 10%. So I'm going to go with A2 here. 100,000 damage. So uh, this is the amount of damage I'll be doing throughout the fight. A2 again. 170,000 damage. Uh, A2 again. 137,000 damage. So I'm going to show you uh, what happens now. Because of Army Gear's skills, their A1 reduces the perimeter of the spider by 30% when it's critical. They all have 100% critical rate. So they're all going to be reducing the perimeter of the spider. Paragon is going to be tanking. They're not going to switch the target because my the gear on my on my Army Gear's is specific. Uh, the gear on my spider on my armor gear is so that uh, the aggro does not switch from paragon to uh, army gears so if you have them at about two and a half times paragon's health he the spiderlings won't switch the aggro so that's how it works so a2 we go here once if it goes over 50 percent um perimeter if the spiders perimeter goes over 50 percent i won't use my a2 so here it's close to 50 percent I don't want to risk it because this is like a long run and I'm not going to um, waste a run just because of 100,000 uh, damage. So I, again, of course, here with A1, as I said before, Spider. OK, I'm going to do it here. It's fine. I think that was fine there. Armageddon with A1. You can still get resisted, by the way, guys, even at 230 accuracy, you can still get resisted. So it's basically risking it just by keep doing A2. A1 here with Paragon and 787, uh, not 1000, 787 damage. So there we go. Terminator reduction. Then we have a Terminator reduction. So we're doing good so far. 135,000 damage. And the next one should be Armiger doing his A1 because you out. I don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk it. <laughs> you see the spider, she's not going to take a turn. Armigers have full control of the spider. They have her there. She's sitting. She cannot take a move. If she takes a move, she's going to kill everything um, except Paragon because he has an unkillable. He doesn't care. He does not give. Okay, so we're fine there. Uh, the termiter on the spider is getting high. I'm getting a bit worried here. So I'm going to keep doing A1 until we have like a bit of more control. So A1 again. Okay, we're, we're fine here. We can do, do an A2. 130,000. The control. Oh, unkillable. I almost, I almost did not apply it. So we're at 3 minutes. About 20% uh, of the health down. So let's keep on going. Armiger again. Armiger again. So A2, 126. By the way, guys, they barely have any critical damage, and I didn't really focus on getting critical damage gear on them. I just focused on getting 100% crit, a lot of accuracy, and a bit of speed. I think their speed. You can still do it with the speeds at over 150, but 
can't guarantee it. The ones that have them here is they're like all army gears have a close to 180 or 170 speed, which is okay. I mean, they have a base speed of um, 92. So getting another 40 from boots is easy. And then another 50 from all different kinds of gear. You can do it. You can do it. If you've been farming the dungeon, you can still do it. You could try this setup out. So we're at, I think, 30% in. We can go for an A2 here, 136. Go with an A2 here, 172. Uh, the spider is getting angrier. The terminator is going up. Um, and I'm getting stressed because I do not want to try this again. I did this before, but there's an actually a small chance to get resisted. So this is, there's still a chance to, to fail here. Even if you think you have it under, under control. So Armager. Armager. Armiger. Armiger is A1. Should I skip the video, guys? And take you to the end? No, no. We're still gonna, gonna go. I'm not gonna skip it. Because you wanna see my reactions in the case I don't get a decreased terimeter. And you're gonna see it on the screen. It's gonna like. Armiger is going to go with his A1, but it won't show decrease in Terminator, and it's not going to show resisted. So it's not a resist, but it's a resist. How did it, my, did it just happen? Did it just happen and I missed it? Because it didn't reduce, right? Please comment if you've seen it, guys. Um, so we're going to keep doing the A1s until we get it under 50%. So that's when I want to go with, uh, with A2. So A1 again. So we're getting um getting getting it under control again. But I'm gonna keep doing A1s. The basic attacks of Armiger. So so that I can keep it under control for now. We are 50%, I think. Is it 50? Um, if you guys don't know, if you skip <laughs> until this part for some reason, um, Armory Gears A1 is going to reduce the target's terminator by 30% as long as it's a critical hit. So at a 100% critical hit, they're always going to reduce the terminator. So the spider is not going to take a turn and the spider is going to die, but it's going to take a lot of time. So it's not at a team that I would say, okay, guys, you can go and farm this team and you'll have it and it's going to be an easy one. So... Don't um don't don't do like do what I did. Don't take four army gears to level fifty and gear them all up and get masteries uh, and spend the energy in Minotaur for all of them. You're gonna have probably another team. You're probably gonna have one cold heart so far. You've been playing for a few months. You're gonna have at least one cold heart. Um, hopefully RNG is like works in mysterious ways. So. A1 with Armiger. Unkillable with Paragon. Gonna go with A2 here. Even though the spider was very close to 50. So you see here how, how much um, increase in Terminator she had. So we're doing good, I think. As long as I can keep on not getting resisted sometimes actually um paragon a1 manages to reduce the the terminator of the spider for some reason i don't know why um because he has a very low accuracy he should be getting resist every single time so we're getting out of control so i can start doing the a2s here if the level 46 one goes i'm gonna go with a1 so that the next one so the left the leftmost Armager can go with his A2. His A2 hits for 170. 163, yeah. Somewhere there. So he does way more damage. So I want to 
keep going with the left one. Yeah. So we have. We're doing very good so far. Only nine minutes. I think it took me like 20 minutes the first time I tried this and did it successfully. Because it, it takes a lot of time and, and, and like resources for this, guys. It's not something that uh, it just happened to, to. You have the, like the team in your mind and then you just want to try it out. And it takes a lot of energy trying things out. Uh, switching out the gear, especially with Paragon. Like, because these are level 50 and not level 60, the amount of health that I needed to have on them, I needed to tweak it out. Uh, I think at, at about 18,000 health. They would be fine in terms of spiralings, but if they were lower than 18,000, then the spiralings will go to them instead of Paragon for some reason, uh, when Paragon had the unkillable on him. So, okay guys, we have it under control. We are at 46%, I think, or something. So decrease the terminator, keep on going. Terminator reduction. I want to do the A2 with the leftmost. Leftmost army gear. It's going to be the next turn. So I'm going to keep reducing the Terminator here. Reduce it here again. So let's go. So we can go with A2 here, 143,000, it's not much actually. So Armager again, <laughs> decrease the Terminator. So decrease the Terminator again. The only way this can work on auto, by the way guys, I thought about this already, if, if you guys want to comment about this. The only way for this to work on auto is if you can get a tank in there that uh, has like 27,000 health as the, the post on Reddit explains how the AOE and, and counter attack uh, setup works for a, for a tank in the spider. But the others need to have more health than that. And because armor gears are uncommon, it's very hard to get their health higher than like 28,000. So I don't know if I can get a setup, like an auto setup with this, like four army gears and one tank in there. They probably need to go to level 60. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep try trying uh, things out. So leave a like if you want me to try and find a setup that has like an auto um, army gears, uh, army gear setup. You can possibly go with like, like HP gear with crit if you have it. But then you need accuracy, so you need a lot of accuracy. You need crit, you need health for an auto setup to work. And it's not going to be 100% setup because the way that that mastery works is it's like a 50% chance when the target uh, falls uh, by 25% health or more, there's a 50% chance to get a counter attack. So it's like a coin flip every single time. And if you miss it, it's not going to counter attack and not going to get his health back up. So you can still fail. It's not a 100% team. So those are my thoughts on the auto team of this kind of setup. But for now, um, I think it's, it's like a cool concept to have like Paragon and four uncommons. You can possibly go like five uncommons. But yeah, I said it, it's, it's very hard like to get a, um, what's it called? The one that's still used. Or you can even go Saurus here. I can go with my Saurus, but I'm going to waste like 300 gems to reset his masteries twice if I do that. So, yeah, I'll need to think about how I can go like an auto setup with this kind of team. <coughs> like imagine having um, five un uncommons kill the spider. That would be a great video. Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm still here, guys. 13 minutes in. <coughs> I'm still here. I'm alive. I'm alive. So, um, there we go. We're, we're doing good. We're doing great. Great.
Ah, uh, 14 minutes in. Guys, are you still here? <laughs> Probably everyone got bored by this part and I have no viewers. But it's fine. Uh, I'm going to do it on my own. So, um, there we go. Terminator reduction. We're getting there, guys. 14 minutes. It's going to take 20. Is it? Is it going to take 20? Uh, but it's definitely exhausting. Definitely is. Um, after this, after the run ends, I'm going to show you their gear for every single one of them. Um, like the basics of their gear. I'm not going to go through through every single one, but it's like everyone has critical rate on the gloves. Like some of them have accuracy on the chest, others don't, but they have other gear with a uh, high inaccuracy. So I have like over 200 accuracy on every single armor gear, 100% crit, um, health at, at least 18,500 so that um, the, the aggro, the target, uh, the targeting setup for the spiraling is always on Paragon. So this is the basic of, of this team. And Paragon, of course, like three pieces of gear. Barely, barely any gear. Guys, we're at 15 minutes. And this is going great. Great. I only had like a resist resist uh, once. So the RNG is with me. We're getting closer and I'm getting silent. So I'll need to keep on talking because this video is going for at least 17 minutes here. Um, there we go. Turn me the reduction. Turn me the reduction just to get it under control. And then we're going to start doing our hits with, with the leftmost one, the leftmost Armager, the, the strong one. He's the strong one. Uh, because he has the most masteries out of all of them. He's got the, the other master is that when the target is uh, under 40% health, he's going to do more damage. I think he has those. Right? Yeah. 178. Yeah, he probably has those. I can't remember exactly which one he has. No, I, I shouldn't have done that there. Uh, I'm just getting impatient because it's like, it's like eight, 17 minutes in. So... Um, I'll need to do like terminator reduction here in a row. Do at least four or five terminator reductions. This is the part of raid that I love. Like because you have so many characters, there's ways that you can go through the dungeons, and yeah, it's going, it's going good, it's going good. You don't need the legendaries to go through the dungeons, but they definitely help to make them way faster to farm. This kind of teams, these are just for fun. If you like this kind of thing in games, um, then you can think of teams like this. There's other players who, who think of other setups. Um, I just think of the spider because this is the, uh, like, the easiest way to beat the spider. I would say with Paragon, I'm using Paragon. I did not even get a crit there. I don't have 100% crit on this one. Guys, please don't fail me. Please don't fail me now, 18 minutes in. Did you see the term here? It, it got really close to 100%. Come on, guys. Get it under control. And do not get resisted. It's a simple task. Very simple task. Come on, Armageddon. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Get it under control. Get it under 50%. And then I can start doing the A2s. I think that's the way that the AI works as well. Like, uh, if the, the boss is at over 50%, perimeter, uh, Armageddon is going to go for A1. Even if his A2 is not on cooldown. So that's, that's a cool way that the AI works. But I'll need to verify it. I haven't really did a lot of auto testing in this kind of teams. 
19 minutes in. Oh my god. Go. Fire is dying. It's gonna die at the 10, 20 minute mark. I could have gone A2 there. I could have gone with like three A2s, but that would have been so risky. So, so risky. Like, I could go like here, have another two turns with two army gears, and I could have killed it. I think. There we go. Turn with the reduction, but that would have been a risky move. And a waste of energy if you if I failed and and a waste of my time as well. So nineteen minutes, twenty minutes, twenty minutes in. Parameter reduction again. So come on. Come on. Get it under control, guys. So I have I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with A2. I'm gonna go with A2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have it, we have it. YOLO. There we go, block revive. There we go, guys. There we go. Um, it's like the third time I do this, second or third time. No, it's third time for sure. Like the damage is almost the same, and one of them has more mastery than the others. But yeah, MVP here with six billion da <laughs> five hundred thousand damage taken throughout the fight is Paragon. He's like getting hit every single time I take him here. Uh, he takes all the punishments, so let's quickly go and I'll show you the gear on every single one of them. It's like, uh, the, the one with the most mastery has like 23,000 health, 189 speed, 100% crit, 230 accuracy. The masteries are here. His skills are fully maxed because it's so easy to max them out. The second army gear has close to the same 100% crit. 220 accuracy, 21,000 health, 188 speed. Masteries are zero on actually on this one. I thought I had some masteries on this one. This one barely has any masteries, like uh, three here and three there. In the offense tree, fully, um, everyone has full um, skills because it's so easy to max them out. His other stats are 21,000, 172 speed, so he's, he's lower than the others, 224 accuracy. And the last one, the level 47 one has 98%. Oh, this one is the one that didn't crit. Okay, this is why he didn't crit. 163 speed, he's the slowest. He has the lowest critical rate. Uh, 231 accuracy, 20,000 health points. Skills are fully maxed again. Masteries, 3 and 3. Yeah, and that's it. That's my team. And Paragon, of course, if you guys don't know already. Oh, I don't have any masteries on this one. I thought I had. But this one is maxed out. Okay, okay. I have two paragons, so okay, I was using the one without any masteries at all. Whatever. Three pieces of gear, barely any health, but I have a lot of speed with uh, one speed set and 45 speed boots. Uh, you don't need 45, you just need 150 speed on uh, paragon for this to work. Accuracy, uh, defense, crew, those don't matter. Just 151 speed and two books on his A2. Uh, this is what matters. So guys, uh, this has gone for too long. If you like this video, leave a like down below. Comment uh, on, on your surprise with this kind of video. Subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out. Um, it really helps the channel grow. I want this channel to grow. I want to reach over 3,000 uh, subscribers. I'm getting close to, to that point. So <laughs> click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.